Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Art Gallery. And I used this image here and this little one. Cards, I used a white card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth. A piece of gold at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And a piece of white at 3 and a half, no, 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. Also have a piece of white at 3 and, three and a quarter by 2 and a half. Three and a quarter by two and a half, and a piece of gold at three and three eighths by two and five eighths. To go on like that. So to get started, we will. You also need some scrap to um, cut out the flower on top. So, I've got a scrap here, don't need that either for now. And my stamp set, which I never even got out. And you're not getting the stamp set. Right, what we're going to do. We're going to. I'm going to change the colour. I'm going to stamp them in Blushing Bride and Rococo Rose. So we're going to stamp one Blushing Bride and we're going to clean that. And I didn't bring papers out. So. Up. Let me get a pair for those. And I'm going to stamp a pair of those. Now with our Rococo Rose, we are going to do our infills in the flower. That's all we need for them. And then we're going to get the die for them and we're going to cut them out. I think we might need to cut this down just so I can get it on my plate. Is our flower, and we're going to do the same with peppers out. Alright, all 
one what I'm really concentrating on is the leaves on this one. Not worried about the rest. going to do with our snips we are going to take the flowers off of here and all I did was just follow the flower round to dismantle it from that bit and we're going to stick that on there which gives us our flower. Saves us faffing about trying to get green and pink ink on the same stamp. So we'll just get rid of that one. And that is all how I've done my multicoloured flower. Multicoloured. Well, it is. There's two col three colours on it. Right, so that's that one done. Now we've got the big one to do. And we need our big stamps. Both of them. With our three and three quarters by five and seven eighths, no, nope. five and a half, we are going to stamp this all over. So, blushing bride, and going to just stamp it I'm actually going to try and get a whole one on there like that and part one there That'll do. That one. Then we need to use Rococo Rose to do the infills. Which hmm. easy if you can see the bottom of it. That just needs a bit there. And that is our front covered. That's all our stamping done because I've already done my birthday wishes. So let's stick this card together. Glue. 
I'll put this Should have put something there, but never mind. Right, put that on our car base. Upside down. Oh no, just the way I done the flowers. All right, and we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to glue our flower flat. It's going to go up on dimensionals. that and then like that and our best wishes is going to go there so we need a dimensional on the end And that just leaves me some gems to add and I've got some button gems somewhere lots of silver ones hmm. oh there they are And I'm going to pop three just along here. Put the one in the middle first. Is our card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can see say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.